Susan loves renting out her heritage home to Bendigo's visitors. Because it's such a, a historical old home in Bendigo, which has been around since 1905, I wanted to share it with people um, from all walks of life. She's one of thousands across the state who list places to stay on short-term accommodation websites like Stays and Airbnb. It offers employment, it offers um, economic um, activity within our region, um, everyone benefits. A new report showing short-term accommodation injects more than $13 million into Bendigo's economy and creates nearly 2.5 million for hosts. When you look at Bendigo as well, there's over 100 jobs that have been created in the area as a result of short-term rentals. But some motel operators are concerned there's a lack of regulation around the sites. We've got to provide details to local councils, uh, licences, uh, those types of things to organisations that they're not required to do so they can often do it at a cheaper price. They'd like to see similar regulation in Victoria as is in place in New South Wales, including a nuisance tax for disruptive visitors and registry schemes. And as an industry we'd prefer um, that they were subject to similar uh, situations that we were in terms of licences and, and insurances. Casey Lodge, Win News.